The most consistent golf swings on the PGA Tour are ones that swing the club on the plane. And the plane is established by how you set the club at address. The angle that you set the club at address creates the swing plane for that particular golf swing. The angle that you set the club at address is going to be different with every club because every club is, has different lengths and different lies to it. So when I set the club at address, I'm trying to set the club at an angle that I'd like to come back into the golf ball at if I make a good golf swing. The plane is established at address, so if you picture the club swinging up that plane line from ground level to hip level, then move above that plane line but stay parallel to it in the second part of your backswing, that's the swing that's the most consistent to make repetitive golf swings to hit straight shots. What I see most students doing is getting the club somewhere in the backswing where it gets too upright, too straight up and down. When it gets too straight up and down, you have a tendency to block, and that's where the slice occurs from because the face is too open at impact. So a good practice swing for that person is to hold the club up about knee level and get the club to swing on more of an arc or a circle back and through. Hold the club at knee level, swing through at knee level to round out that steepness in the golf swing. Ideally, you'd like the club to swing back on the plane above but parallel to the plane and up over your right shoulder and then retrace your steps as you come back down and swing on through. That would be the best case scenario. So, in review, when you make your golf swing, you want to get the club swinging up and down on the plane as close as possible to hit your most repetitive straight shots and it'll make your rounds a heck of a lot easier.